Isn't that like uh, hillbilly country here? Well, I wouldn't call us hillbillies. We're yeah. country people, but we're not hillbillies. So we're concerned of shale gas, right? We most certainly are. We have our own committee. It is called Pennyac Anti-Shale Gas Committee. Or Anti-Shale Gas Organization, I guess. What's the population here? Low town, low, oh, low village. The population might be... 40? Oh god, no, five but, or six hundred people. Is it five, five or hey, look, look at that, new overpass. New overpass. That's for the shell gas uh, trucks, right? Oh yeah, make a great road for them to all drive on. So, what would you say? 90% of the 90% of the citizens don't want it? I'd go as far to say 99.9. .9. Who's your MLA? Kirk McDonald. Good MLA? A real good MLA. He attends all of our meetings. He answers our phone calls, talks to us, but he's only one man. And if Albert don't listen to him, Albert might not have a job, but Kirk McDonald probably still will have. You think this might snowball into an NB power team? That is our goal. Once people find out that our natural resource, if there is any there, this shale gas, it's an American company, and I dare say most of the shale gas would probably go to the States. Here we go again. That, our natural resources aren't ours. They're just there for the taking. That's a capitalist uh, system. Oh, yes. That's the American way. Well, these days it kind of sounds like the Canadian way too, when you're on the receiving end of it, like we are. And we are in Doverland, huh? Oh, well, we're on the Pennyac Road in Pennyac, and we are about uh, two minutes from the fundraiser, the uh, Pennyac Anti Shale Gas Organization uh, Barbecue and Strawberry Shortcake. Strawberry Shortcake? My God. Best cooks in the land made it. Ah, the benefits to be a blogger. Thank you very much. There's our little country 